So I went to Truman High School. I graduated in 2009. I am in my fifth year of a doctoral program at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I will have a PhD in atmospheric science. I am the director of Children's Mercy East, so uh, I help operate this facility. Um, and that started five years ago, so we are five years old. Well, I'm the president and CEO of Truman Medical Centers, and uh, Truman is two things. It's an academic medical center, and it's also the safety net hospital for Kansas City and Jackson County. Well, one, the success that you know is attributed to, to me really is, is not correct. There's a number of people that I've been very fortunate to work with over the years that have made us successful. I've been back in Kansas City for 17 years working at Channel 9. And I'm in a position job-wise where I do appreciate the trust that I have from people in this community to tell their stories. Locally we work on museum projects, ballet schools, performing arts facilities, a lot of office buildings, uh, university buildings, but then we also work uh, across the country and across the, the globe. Most of the work overseas is for the State Department, working on embassies. I was able to just step in and feel like I belonged in any math or science class in, in college, and I really have to say that I credit that to the educational experiences from the Math and Physics Institute as part of the Independent School District. When the community helped Children's Mercy build this facility, I was lucky enough to um, come out here and realize my dream of working in the community that I was born and raised in. Uh, it's a job I'm absolutely passionate about uh, because of the folks uh, that I get to work with, but also the folks we get to serve. I sort of see something of that, of that sort of community spirit in everything else. And it's, it's really something special to come back and, and see. But I remember very clearly the, the small business areas of Fairmount, uh, Inglewood, Maywood, uh, as being thriving places, a, a vibrant uh, square uh, where people still gathered and many small businesses were. And I think that's really what's interesting is, uh, you know, that kind of went by the wayside uh, for a period of time, and now you're starting to see that happen again in Independence. It's just it was an easy place to grow up. It was family friendly. Uh, I hope that it, it uh, you know, as I go back through today, it, it seemed different. But at the same time, I think that it's also evolving. That whole area needs to be evolving. What's been exciting to see since I've been back is the rebirth of the square and the people who are so excited to be part of it. It's been amazing to see what the community has done, the reinvigoration of the square and new businesses coming up. It has always maintained its own identity uh, and that's, that's something that's very special to Independence and something that uh, is special to me. Getting to know the kids on your street, waving to them at the bus stop in the morning, all that's, all that's good stuff. It just lets them know that they're in an environment, they're in a culture that they want to you know, continue. And if that fosters something else in them and that that builds over years, you've accomplished that. But it doesn't have to be a lot, but one little thing. Independence has a, a, a great school district that's only getting better. There are people moving to Independence because of the schools, because of the people. My wife always uh, kidded me when we first got married, um, somebody would say, where are you from? And if she answered first, she would say, well, we're from Kansas City. Uh, it didn't take me very long to correct her. I would say, well, my wife's from Kansas City, but..." I'm from Independence. And now with new restaurants and new, new stores going in, I can only imagine what might happen in the future. The education system has improved in this area. Um, the, com the sense of community has improved in this area. So I only see that growing. I think that it's, it's ripe for being part of the, the evolution of not just Independence, but the evolution of the metropolitan area. Independence for me is not necessarily a place or a building or a store or a school, but it's about a community of people. One of the big things, uh, just most recently, is the support of Mayor Weir as, um, for our organization um, that has seen the community grow. I think you'll see housing continue to improve in Independence. I think you'll see more job opportunities, you'll see more retail opportunities. This becomes the place people want to live. I think that staying progressive is what independence needs to focus on. I think 
maintaining those values, people remembering what their roots are, bringing that, that education, that culture to today's, uh, today's world, if you will, I think is, is big. It's really, the main memory is just the, you know, being able to be safe and be outdoors and learn how to do stuff on my own. And so I think you're gonna see, you know, families choosing independence because they want to. I remember this building that we're in today as a medical office building where my kids, you know, I bring my kids here for their doctor's appointments. And I look at what independence is doing to expand, you know, the, uh, the municipal side of things. I also see great opportunity for what's going on. You know, uh, the Mayor Weir told me a few weeks ago that there's a new school under construction on Hardy, yeah, which I thought that's, that's, that is such a great indicator that, that changes any positive changes in the air. One of my favorite memories uh, when I was uh, five years old, uh, my mother was a school teacher in Independence, uh, but one of her side jobs was she decorated cakes. So the Independence Examiner asked her to make a cake for one of Harry Truman's uh, milestone birthdays. But she baked that cake and uh, President Truman was really taken by that cake and uh, invited my mother and myself up to the library, assigned uh, a copy of his memoirs to me, uh, and those memoirs still sit in my office today. When I was a kid, Harry Truman was still alive. My uncle, Ed Hall, had an office on the square and I, you know, as little kids, we would go to Uncle Ed's office and hang out. Harry Truman would walk by and rap on the glass with his cane. You know, who is our next Harry Truman? You know, so, so who is that? Who is that that's, that's in our, the fabric of independence that's gonna bring those values forward and who's gonna be the next Google that started here in independence? Who's that individual? Who is it that's gonna to rise to that next level? The charm here is not manufactured, it is inherent, it is real and lasting.